this section is just going to show you how we can import initially or update uh, from a spreadsheet uh, you know your initial attributes so effectively we've got all our pro products but you know we don't have uh, from our prime source the values of these various uh, links so you know i'm going to use this to import uh, this uh, data into the system so you know i can click into products uh, you know, make sure that the import button is uh, showing. Uh, so effectively, it's going to take me to the product importer. So what I want to do is, uh, in this instance, you know, browse to the spreadsheet that I'm using. Uh, so if we just go into our PIM attributes, I think this is the this is the sheet that I'm using. Uh, we're actually in this instance going to update existing records uh, we're going to use the SKU as our uh, uh, and you can see it's already started to map some of the some of the, the fields that uh, it recognizes uh, that it's going to do so let's just make sure that we've got all of them there um, you know, and you can use this multiple times uh, to get your data in but you can see I've got lots of fields uh, within here so we'll just uh, make sure that I'm covering them so not mapped uh, digital assets dot and if rates uh, interest in that I think we're just coming down now so as you can see it's just a mapping a mapping exercise just make sure i've got everything here product code should be our primary field uh sql and we wanted the length the length didn't we so width is our case depth uh weight unit of measure is not in here uh, we had length packaged, so we had package length, package height would be in our field map to case, wasn't it? Case heights, package length, case length, uh, package width was case depth, and then our length length was where were we it was height so we called that unit height and things like that didn't we so length was unit height I think in in the thing so unit length height so it's just a mapping game as you can see uh, unit height and I think we just want the last one which was width units not case so unit depth and our package ones were all, all mapped so once we're happy with all this case 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 start to the bottom uh, did we do yeah everything else should be mapped accordingly so we run normal, we don't want to create pick lists of this and we'll just submit it. Uh, so we've got an error in the system. Uh, map to product, so you know that, any other errors coming up? So, you know, we're getting some error messages because we haven't mapped everything correctly. So error, please map skew to column which is fine submit that hopefully I'll press the button yeah your import has been queued so once it's done its job so I'm going to go back to products and see if it's actually done anything yet you can see that actually we've imported our data so if I go into one of these look at my attributes you can start to see the data's actually come through very 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 quickly 
so all my unit lengths there might be some things i have to change like uh, i think this is inches you know you'd say just save that or i could have done a massive update uh, to change the data but as you can see uh, my data's there just so that's how you just use the import uh, facility to update import or whatever uh, you know if you want to use uh, uh, from an external excel spreadsheet csv or, or the equivalent i think i also get uh, yeah an email notification updated eight records no errors uh, and so on so that's how you can import data from a spreadsheet